navigation system. The navigation system here is a, an Android navigation system from AliExpress and the links are down below. I'll show you what it is. It's a, it's a joying unit. It's a nice wide screen and you'll see here I'm running, I'm running Aussie Explorer and Wikicam. So I run them side by side so it's really useful as we're traveling. We can work out where we are. I was thinking originally to replace the standard head unit with an Android navigation but I actually wanted to keep this because the Bluetooth and the phone system for the standard navigation is pretty good. So I put a navigation unit on top of it. This works better because the navigation system is better up high, so as your line of sight on the road. And it's also better, the touch screen, because it's closer to you here. The joying Android navigation unit, I've simply bolted to the top of the dashboard and it sits under this shroud here, which I bought from 4x4 Concepts. The link is also below for the shroud here in the 4x4 Concepts unit. This is designed to put UHF radios on top of the dashboard of the Ford Ranger, and it works pretty well. It's not, it's not as sort of neat as I would have liked, but it's still pretty good. USB sockets, you need USB sockets everywhere. You can never have a prettier wife, a bigger garage, or enough USB sockets. So I've got two USB sockets here, which go to the navigation system, and I've got two USB sockets here, which go to this cigar lighter. So we have four USB sockets, and then there's another one further down, which is the standard Four Ranger one, and I've got a, a and I've got a USB drive in there with country and western music on it, because Maren loves country and western music as we're driving through the country. We have a Telstra SIM in the navigation system, which gives us a Wi-Fi hotspot, because our phones are on Optus. So, and the SIM has dual antennas that I've stuck up on the windscreen there to give you good mobile coverage. Look at those black ones there stuck on the windscreen and the wires run down the back. It's really good the Ranger because the, there's these two panels here which clip off and under the panels I can run the wires easily and the GPS for the Navi sits under that panel there. Since we have a SIM in the Navi system we can run Google Maps. But you're not always within mobile coverage so we also run Sidejack which has offline maps and there we are. Punsan Bay, Cape York. Google Maps is a terrific mapping system and you can see we're right up there, tip of Cape York, closer to Port Moresby than we are to Cairns. It's an excellent design, the Boss Aluminium rooftop tent, because these brackets, which I think are structural, are perfectly designed and have holes in them which fit the standard USB sockets you can buy. So it's really easy to install standard USB cigar sockets into these panels. And I've made little panels which cover the USB sockets and I've also got switches. So the little panel is made out of a sheet of plastic. It's actually a folder and I've stuck to it a piece of marine carpet and put Velcro on the back. And that just simply covers that panel perfectly. These standard USB socket switches fit in perfectly into those holes and these switches turn on my lights for reading and the lights in the in the rooftop tent and we have a velcro book holder that sits on the back wall and the little lights clip into that and the lights are either yellow or white depending on how much brightness we want People ask Phil about his systems and what's and amps and sockets and electrical systems. I get asked about my hair. How do you keep your hair so nice? Uh, I get my hair straightened. So I wake up in the morning, it's like that. 18 months ago, I stopped dyeing my hair. I let the hair go gray. I did a pixie cut. 18 months later, it got to this length and had a chemical straightening, which makes it super soft. So I get up and it's like this. It's fantastic. So I had the bob cut at this length to keep it cool here on the neck so I don't have to tie it up all day because that gives me a headache so it's super easy it's cool it's light I also got my nails done toes and fingers bamboo fingers in Baldwin North in Melbourne did it deep thank you you did a great job look at me and the other thing I get done is my lashes I haven't brushed them this morning but I don't feel like I'm roughing it okay somebody coming did you catch that fish? Yeah. This morning. This morning? Yeah, just now. Just now? Yeah. And what's it called? Are you okay for film you? You're pretty photogenic. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> so where'd you, you get the fish? Breakfast? I think, yeah. 
Does it I caught it on my son's rod Does too. It so, oh, it's probably. No, it's really it's fresh. Smell, it it's probably doesn't fish. smell like fish. <laughs> it smells fresh. Is it salmon? Oh, uh, yeah, threadfin salmon, yeah. Yum. Mm. And what did you use for bait? No, just a metal lure. Oh, really? A lure? Yeah, wow. it just cast out. I only cast about four times when I got it, so good enough for me. Put a clean t shirt on. Do I look oh. okay? Does my hair look. I just climbed out of the bed and my hair. I haven't been straightened it. Does my hair look good? 